Congressional scrutiny over President-elect Donald Trump's nominee for Attorney General, former Florida U.S. Representative Matthew Geetz, continues as some Senate Republicans urge the House Ethics Committee to share its investigation into allegations of sexual misconduct. Geetz, who has represented Florida's first congressional district since 2017, has been the subject of several investigations into his conduct since taking office. The Justice Department, which he would lead if confirmed, conducted its own three-year investigation into allegations of sex trafficking by the then-lawmaker, which resulted in no criminal charges. The presumptive Attorney General nominee has the backing of Trump's allies and his wife, Ginger Lucky Geetz, who posted on X, formerly known as Twitter, on November 13 to congratulate her husband, saying, Attorney General will look good on you my love. Geetz and Lucky Geetz first met at a fundraiser at Trump's Mar a Lago Resort in 2020, when Lucky Geetz was 26 years old. The couple got engaged nine months later. In an interview with the Daily Mail in December 2020, the then fiancé expressed initial hesitation to attend the March gathering due to the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic shutdown. Despite their 12-year age gap, she immediately connected with the Republican congressman and accompanied him to a birthday party for Kimberly Guilfoyle, who is engaged to Donald Trump Jr. They married in August 2021, eloping in a small ceremony on Catalina Island off the coast of Southern California. Raised in California, Lucky Geetz studied accounting at the University of California, Santa Barbara. She was a skipper on the school's varsity sailing team. After graduating in 2016, she pursued business studies at the University of California, Berkeley. Lucky Geetz also worked as a financial analyst for Appeal, a sustainable food technology company, and KPMG, a multinational accounting firm. She currently works as a manager in KPMG's Enterprise Innovation, Partnerships, and Commercialization Department. She is the younger sister of Palmer Lucky, the billionaire founder of Oculus VR, which produces virtual reality headsets. Palmer sold the company to Facebook in 2014 for $2 and billion, with an additional $1 and billion for retention bonuses and other incentives. To date, Lucky Geetz has not publicly commented on her husband's scandals. In sharing her husband's nomination for Attorney General on X, she stated, A fantastic choice, Mr. President. However, her sister Roxanne Lucky has been vocal about the allegations against her brother-in-law. In a series of TikTok videos reviewed by the Daily Beast, she referred to the former congressman as weird and creepy and a literal pedophile. Discussing the investigations into Geetz in another video, Ruxin said she was not surprised by the allegations due to his character. When asked for comment by the Daily Beast, Lucky Geetz described her sister as unwell and estranged from the family at the time. She claimed that Roxanne has been in therapy for years and expressed hope that after receiving inpatient mental health treatment, she will overcome her tendency to engage in destructive behavior. Keats has consistently denied all allegations.